Viruses, Infections and Challenges Research Center Kleisti The opening of the newly renovated Research Center Kleisti marks the end of a major development project for the scientific infrastructure at Riga Stradinj University. More than 60 researchers work here across two scientific institutes and four laboratories. One of the institutes, named for Augusts Kirchensteins, has been brought up to date with new equipment and a fully restored interior. The road into virus research for Associate Professor Modra Murovska led from working as a lab assistant to becoming head of the institute. We study several viruses, herpes strains which are passed on through the blood, papillomaviruses, parvovirus B19, and the new one, Boca virus, which affects many children. Institute staff include doctors, biologists, chemists and molecular biologists. I'm glad that we have many young workers still pursuing their bachelor's, master's and doctorate degrees here. Research on infectious diseases in virology began as the institute was being founded. The antivirus medication Larifan and anti-cancer drug Rigvir are among those developed here that are available on sale at pharmacies nowadays. The seeds of science at Kleist can be sought in centuries past. A virus is ravaging the countryside. The swine Erispelas serum must be imported from abroad. At this difficult moment, August Kirchensteins founds the Riga serum station. There's no space, no resources, no experience. But Kirchensteins and his aides don't just conquer this one disease. The Riga serum station becomes an important maker of biomedications. It provides rabies shots for domestic pets, bovine tuberculine, insulin, smallpox vaccine. Vaccine. Smallpox vaccine was followed by a series of other drugs for preventing human infectious diseases. Later a virology lab was created. Virology became an important field of activity at the institute. It was at the International Anti-Tuberculosis Congress in Oslo in 1930. Professor Kirchensteins, as a delegate, on his historic visit, first explaining the importance of the Calmet vaccine for children. In the history of European microbiology, this presentation by Kirchensteins put him on the world map. Now, Professor Murovska and the folks at the Institute carry his name forward and all the positive things he's given. Professor Kirchensteins knew how to appreciate people's abilities and knew how to involve them in the job properly. Now the Microbiology Institute is named after him. New generations of top-level scientists are pushing forth on the trail the professor blazed. Research is conducted across a broad range of fields and mostly jointly with various clinics nowadays. We try to study the diseases most relevant to Latvia. We cooperate with many structures inside the Riga Stradinj University and many clinics. We work with morphologists, internal disease specialists, transplantologists, cardiologists, neurologists. 
This work can only happen on a joint basis. No one virologist can accomplish anything on his own. Just like virology is essential for the clinics. For these studies to develop, you must have cooperation. Paul Stradinch University Clinical Hospital. Kidney Transplant Center. In order to study an infection at the proper scientific level, we work with Professor Murovska. We have our labs, but we'll never have the level of scientific grounding that the Institute provides. We're currently cooperating in a study of the papillomavirus after kidney transplants, as patients getting immune suppression have a higher risk of developing tumors and malignant changes in various places in the organism. We can foresee these changes and correct the immune suppressive therapy to prevent the tumors. Neurology Clinic there are very many diseases of the nervous system tied to the influence of viruses. But there are also the quiet, hidden, secret viruses, like the human herpes virus 6 and 7. It causes other types of changes in the nervous system. It's an unexplored field with many unknowns. For many years we've worked with the Kirchensteins Institute virologists in search of these correlations. Heart Surgery Center. Heart valve degeneration, the study of this process is complicated. No final answers have been given as to why the degeneration occurs. One of the hypotheses is that parvoviruses and herpes virus infections could be behind it. Thus, our studies with the Microbiology Institute look for these viruses in operated heart valve samples. Under the leadership of Professor Groma, in microscopy, including electron microscopy, they're looking at the structure of the various samples and combine them together with the viruses chemotherapy and hematology clinic. Our main projects right now have to do with viral infections and complications in patients after stem cell transplants. A number of scientific studies have been conducted and our colleagues are actively working on their promotional works in light of this subject. The theme of the promotional work is the influence of the beta herpes virus on the medical treatment process and development of complications in patients following stem cell transplantation. The early activation of herpes viruses can be determined very accurately at the institute, which uses different methods that are impossible at other laboratories. It should be said that everybody everywhere has viruses. And this cooperation that begins in hematology, we've successfully broadened to study the influence of viruses on the severity or provocation of various diseases. Our fields of cooperation in this case are systemic diseases, like rheumatoid arthritis. But the theoretical and clinical trial side depends on the institute. I can have plenty of ideas as a clinician, maybe most of them are unconquerable, but I like this cooperation with Modra Murovska. She listens to me and finds ideas among the fruits of my fantasies that we can realize together. Colleagues and researchers at the Institute study disease agents mainly by looking at viruses, and we then work with patients with their regular analyses interpreting those. The Institute has always been at the vanguard in this research, and in some areas, such as fatigue syndrome, we're a leading force as well. 
vadošajie, mēs viņu atpazīstam, mēs viņu pētam. University Children's Hospital Clinic. In 2005, a new virus was discovered, the Boca virus, which attracted our interest to what degree could this be significant to Latvia. Globally, the Boca virus has been named the fourth most frequent agent found in children with respiratory diseases, and in our country the virus is fairly widespread. Thanks to our work with Modra Murovska, we have a solid transition from what happens in the lab to making it available to our patients. No higher learning institute could operate without science. We teach our students to find what interests them, to express their interests, to realize and prove themselves. And I don't think any of the graduates expect to become just practitioners. Riga Stradinch University. As for the Balt Infect project, this is our largest clinical medicine project, very important to us. We were able to raise our research capacity. Balt Infect is the capacity raising grant that has allowed our young people to find work at good labs across Europe and good specialists to be invited to our institute here. New methods, new equipment, new partners, a series of joint publications. Moreover, this cooperation can continue on purely scientific projects. Two new labs were created under the project and a researcher with experience in mathematical modeling was hired. And another one with a background in immunological visualization. The project allowed for new equipment purchases and programs with which to conduct the mathematical modeling in immunology, epidemiology, and more precisely study what's going on inside the cells. And if you know the method of studying one infection, you can easily move on to study others. The methods are fairly similar. All viruses are dear to a virologist. <laughs> and if you take into account that the number of diseases caused by infectious agents keeps growing each year, well then, go ahead. It's a great priority to do what you enjoy in life that there's no day-to-day -day routine, that we can develop things that are of use to people, to be able to improve diagnostics, therapies, and medical care. Today at the Institute, we have every resource to study infections at the highest level. To study what a viral infection does, what pathologies it causes in the human organism, how it can be fought and diagnosed. The field is unimaginably wide, infections keep changing, and you can never say that we know all there is to know about them. Voice over Arnold's Karklis.